Tourism Vancouver and Airbnb are joining forces to promote the city. Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver is joining us now. So Tyler, what's the reaction been like to this? Well, it's going to be interesting because we're going to have the city of uh, Vancouver being promoted directly over Airbnb's own digital platform, as well as through its social media channels like Instagram. But we also have Tourism Vancouver CEO Ty Spears coming out and saying that this agreement that's been signed between these two entities, it does not include any plans to lobby City Hall for changes to policy that were introduced earlier this year. Recall, of course, that the City of Vancouver imposed new rules back in the spring requiring residents using Airbnb to acquire a business license if they're promote to their homes on the platform, and it also enacted time limits going forward. The issue has to do with these rental stock issues that we're facing here in Vancouver. And I do see the other side of the story here. Tourism Vancouver notes that economic activity generated in 2017 from people being brought to Vancouver and staying here at Airbnb generated $425 million in economic activity across the region. So there is some push and pull, but I think we all know here in Vancouver, the biggest story of the year is still remains the affordability issue for mo most people. All right. And I understand that one of Canada's biggest uh, cannabis producers is in some hot water over um, some allegations. Yeah, well, AFRIA Incorporated, uh, based in Ontario, they say that a report from quintessential capital management and Hindenburg Research, a uh, pair of short sellers, they're calling the report false, inaccurate, and defamatory. Essentially, the short sellers are calling AFRIA's assets worthless, a black hole. They're alleging that the company spent $700 million buying up subsidiaries that only really help the insiders at those companies. AFRIA says that it's preparing a more comprehensive report to refute, refute those claims. But the claims made against AFRIA, well, they actually caused their shares to fall nearly 30% on Monday. I think that's why the company is taking these allegations so seriously at this point. Absolutely. All right, Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver on this Tuesday. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, Sonia.